I was laying in bed. My mic on? Yeah. Eh, interrupted you. <laughs> I was laying in bed and I said, hey Siri, why am I so bad with women? We've done this. Nuh-uh. Yeah. yeah. For real? I did. I did it. You did it? Yeah. Oh man, I was proud of that one too. I was in bed last night. I was thinking and I said, hey Siri, why am I so bad with women? She said, Hey, dumbass, this is Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You stole my joke. That's a good one. That is a good one. Well, shit, that was my joke. I gotta go find one now. What celebrity is always ready for cereal? I don't know. Reese Witherspoon. That is awful. That was really bad. I know. Hey, <laughs> grasping straws <laughs> here, man. <laughs> All right, this is going to be a quick, like, talk, quick, talkic, talkic, quick topic. He's so embarrassed. Uh, he wants to get this is bad. Out Let's of here. get out of here, guys. So, quick topic today. Getting a lot of questions on on when setting up zones. There's an option that pops up about a pin number. Would you care to explain that, Chris? Yeah. Please. So. One of the great things about the new app is Image View. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that you can take advantage of is you can customize Image View. So of course you can customize it with pictures. Of course you can drag your lights around to show exactly where the lights are and control them that way. It also shows status. So these are black because they're all off right now. Yep. But it also shows a number. Mm -hmm. And if you leave that pin blank, and I'll pull up the edit screen for that zone, which will be the same as, as add new, really. You have this pin name, and it's blank. If you mm -hmm. leave that blank, the number on the indicator there is the zone number that we use to control to address the light individually. Are you or, recording? Or to put it in a zone. No, the phone. Yeah. Okay. Just checking. Jeez. Man, we were rolling. We're, we're, we were, we're rolling. pros. Yep. Like, we do this the every week. The producer interferes. If you leave the pin name blank, which you can, mm -hmm. we will use the zone number as the default for that indicator. If you enter the pin name, so I think you get up to three characters. So let's just say I want to call this TR1. So I'm going to say it's tree one. All right. Now if I go back here, that is now named TR1. So now instead of the zone number, it's got some relevance mm -hmm. to sure. what it actually is. Yep. So it's just a way to, if you want to customize the pins a little bit more than just a generic number that we created with no meaning, now you can say tree one, tree two, you know, bush one, whatever right. you want. Yep. You get three letters, that way you can kind of abbreviate which lights are which. Now, sure. one of the things, now that we have our nine series white lights, so you mm -hmm. can combine color and white lights together, one of the things that I have done in our showroom is I'll name the pin name C1, C2, C3, C4 for my color lights, and then W1, W2, W3, W4 for my white lights, yep. so I can differentiate which ones are colored and which sure. ones white. It becomes yep. really handy in those scenarios. Yep. You may or may not need this, but it's there. You it's know, there if you really you want. want to help. Yep. yep. So. Yep. So just another way to customize and make the experience even better mm -hmm. for what is a terrific and industry-leading experience. That's right. HVM. More information and more videos on havenlighting.com. And Facebook, YouTube, the Twitter. No, I'm not you going. So you were so close. You were so close. Instagram and TikTok. We'll see you.